Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to take some cuttings. I fetched these in yesterday, and I've emptied one, and I've just got that one to do. This is all the uh, offcuts. So, I'm using this as cutting material. If these don't take, it's not in as well. But if they do, I've got myself some free plants for next year. So I can fill up some more pots, and some more hanging baskets. These are the ones that I've pruned back. The reason I've pruned them back so hard is I want to get them in a the nice shape for next year. I'll start feeding them because they're under these lights, which is it was on for 18 hours. As you can see there, 17 degrees. They'll come out nicely. The uh, reason I'm showing you this is just showing you what I use for my cutting mix. I use 50 50, I use 50% 50 organic compost is beautiful and then 50 cent of this perlite so i'll do four of these and then four composting and make this beautiful mix to show you it's really light and airy and i found it helps and do some better you can see how good it is just just get this here just push it in like that nice and soft does a really good job so I'll just show you what I've been doing. This is what I've been using. These are just off cuts, these. So I'll do pull it back like so. Just take all the bottom leaves off. Again, get your finger and forth, your thumb and your forefinger and just pinch it like that. It should snap off nice and cleanly. All you do then, the last ones. And then you get a sharp knife or secateen just below a joint there. That's where it'll root from. Away like so. Just make sure. You don't want loads of leaves on the top, just a couple. And then down the side like that. I found these roots a lot better down the side. That way they dry on two sides and wet on two sides. So yeah, that's basically what it was take cuttings, that's my potting mix. As you can see, these all have been taken, so there's four in each, so 24 cuttings there. If they don't root, they don't root. I never lose sleep over cuttings. It's not like I'm doing it to make money or anything, I'm just doing it for my own garden, so. They, don't, they normally take, they normally strike pretty well. I don't use any rooting hormone powder, I don't find I, I generally need to. Some people recommend it, but not me. But yeah, look, only a couple of these on each one. Some of them are a bit bent because these have been... Uh, in a half moon hanging basket so they've been over the side not been going straight but yeah like I said hopefully some of these will take and we'll have some more uh, beautiful flowers they're the two I've taken them off see it at the back there I'll just put it out a little bit actually to get a little bit of light all the way around them this is my digital thermometer thermostats th well thermometer yep that tells me uh the moisture levels wet which is great this is for starting all these off all i do then is once i've got everything snuggled tipped away put the sheet down and put another mylo sheet on here as well that's the light i know it's just coming out at night time now i put another sheet on there and that keeps it all nice and toasty at night time i'm not going to heat the rest of the greenhouse the light and the heat not should be in that for me so yeah, that's it. That's uh, how to take my uh, Pelagonium cuttings, 2021 autumn. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask, folks. If you can like the videos, please subscribe. And remember, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.